Hello again and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I want to thank you all for coming back and um, I don't have a big thing to show you today but I've I've seen some videos. Um, I watch a lot of videos actually uh, of what uh, people do and and um, this one's about fast text buckles and how to properly secure them. A lot of people tend to you know um, not want to call anybody out but not secure them correctly and what I want to do is show you a way of securing them correctly uh, so that you don't have any problem afterwards of um, them coming loose. This is a this is just a loop with a fast text buckle on it. Okay, uh, this is a well fast text buckle. This is a plastic buckle here, and I'm going to show you how um, I learned to do it, how I've always done it, and just how to secure it properly. So if you're, for example, some rucksacks you have um, instead of having the fast text that clip together. You have this buckle system right here to clip to attach things and um, um, what it does if you normally do it normally okay you push it through and this is a little bit tight this webbing is it's actually quite good and you pull it through like this right here okay and then with the with the, with the pressure it's it's it, it holds okay it holds the problem is that with time and with uh, stress and with friction and with using something it can start slipping Especially if it gets wet and this kind of stuff, it can start slipping actually, and then it, it loses its tension actually. The way to fix that is very simple. Um, um, once you've got it in position, like this right here, okay, you've got it in position, then what you can do is pass the buckle back onto itself and you slide it in the section right here at the top, right here at the top, right here. You slide it into that, okay. Now, this one's quite tight, it's never been used, that's why. <laughs> Uh, and um, it has it's 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 quite snug. It's quite good. Whoever made this one right here, and I don't know who who did it, uh, they did a pretty good job. But then you you get it through, and you just gently work its way back through itself. You pull it tight if you can, okay, on itself. And if you see, it's now back on itself. You see how it's, how it's passed like this right here. It actually will hold in position, okay, quite snugly like that. But I don't trust it, and that's not enough. So what I do. Is I'll actually take it, fold it back in on itself like this, and I will tape with electrical tape or some Gorilla tape or 100 mile tape, a tape around this right here. You could even use rubber bands, this kind of stuff, but a 100 mile tape, because you're not going to pull this open again. This is like something that you're fixing and snug, and you want to stay snug, stay in position. So this is what you would do, and it would look like this, but it would have some tape right here, and that thing is not coming out. Because it's double up on itself, it can't pass through this piece right here to come out, and it's going to stay really snug. Okay, and there you go, just that simple. Um, I, I ask you to try it out, see how you like it. You know, you can do it with a lot of buckles, different stuff. You pass them back onto themselves. Okay, and if you can't do that, if you can't pass it back onto itself, and that happens too sometimes, uh, sometimes with the fast text buckles that you clip together. Uh, it doesn't have that ability. Now look, look how difficult it is getting out because it's brand new. That's, that's coming out. I've done this a couple of times with it. But once you get it in position, you can actually also turn it back in on itself maybe a couple of times to form like this. And then you can tape this piece. And then it will stay in position also. That's another possibility you can do, especially if it's not long enough. Just fold it back on itself. And if, you, and if it's really not long enough, you just tape it like it's right here. Take a couple of pieces of tape. Tape it in, whatever. And it'll hold position. But... I like to fold it back in on itself. It also it comes back over on the bucket, the buckle again, and it's really secure. So try it out. See how you like it. Let me know and, and leave a comment. Um, if you have any better suggestions, I definitely want to hear those. Uh, but leave some comments and, um, and uh, you know, and like and share. But tell me how, what you think about that little, that little um, piece of trickery. Because it's not very, it's just, you know, we learned this in the Army back with the old Alice packs. It's kind of like that. And... and we would sort of fix them in position, and that's one way of doing it, especially all the, you know, when you put the frame in, this kind of stuff, you have all these pieces. We used to always have to take, I was a, I was on jump status, so we had to always, you know, rig our stuff and fix it in position, and and, and that's one way of doing it. Anyway, especially your LBE and that kind of stuff, LCA, because you don't want to slip and slide, especially if it gets wet or under stress or being used, it'll start sliding, especially with the weight, and next thing you know, it's around your ankles, so you don't want that. Anyway, I want to thank you again for coming and seeing me. I hope you guys all have had a very good weekend and are having a great week. 
enjoying this very hot weather right now. I mean, I was out just for a few minutes and got, got red. I'm a very light-skinned person. You see my, my beard is actually getting, is actually wider than my face right now. But uh, it's very hot, especially right now. I'm actually sweating in this shirt right here. But um, anyway, I hope you all have, have a good one, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.